Welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. And uh, almost done with all these wines. All right, so this is the next one in my restaurant wine series. Uh, we have the 2008 Alexander Valley Vineyards Cabernet Sauvignon, Alexander Valley, Sonoma County, uh, the Wetzel Family Estate. And uh, this wine I bought at Specs for $13.89. And um, typical restaurant, um, typical restaurant wine list will ha sell between thirty-five and forty-five dollars, um, and the restaurant will probably pay twelve to fourteen dollars for it you know, around that. So, um, and I didn't see how much the winery is selling it for. Two thousand eight state. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, you know what? I had to like search. Um, they didn't have it on their website, but I kind of like found like Google put me to where the little fact sheet was. Is it on here? 20 bucks. Same as 2009, 20 bucks. All right, cool. So a uh, $20 suggested retail price for the wine and that's what they uh, sell it for from the from the website all right so um, let's check it out interesting um, smell a bit of alcohol from it A little smoke, I don't get much fruit off the nose, but uh, let's see, let's see how it tastes. coating the mouth with the tannins. Um, definitely a bigger wine, you know, the biggest so far of, of, of this series. And the tannins are really, really prominent. I mean, they're not softening up at all. Um, their their tasting notes say you're going to chase cherry. Well, that it has cherry, chocolate, and plum. I'll go with the plum. Maybe a little bit of chocolate, but I don't get the cherry at all. But again, that that's how I'm tasting it. Um, it's more that I'm, I'm just getting overwhelmed with the dryness from it. I would say that it would soften up a little more if it was exposed to the air a little bit more. The fruit's starting to come out a little bit more. The, the, the tannins are softening up. It's starting to balance out a little bit. Again, it's being exposed to the air. Because remember, I mean, I've opened these bottles. They've been open for a while. But remember, they've got that only, they only have that little bit of opening. So there hasn't been that much air to really interact with the wine. It's softening a little bit. I'm getting the cherries a little more now. Not so much the plum. The cherries are a little more prominent. The plum isn't there. 
I'm not really getting the chocolate anymore. Maybe I get a little sweetness. Maybe that's where the chocolate thing is coming from. But it's more the cherries. Um, and I'm getting some cream now. The, the, the creaminess. Um, I was thinking more vanilla than chocolate. But the creaminess. So um, you're, getting that, you're getting that pie aspect to it. Um, and for me, it's not, it's not bright cherries. It's darker cherries. Uh, and I actually think I'm getting a little bit of, of hold on. I'm getting the peppers now. This wine is evolving. I'm really liking this. It's evolving. It's, it's, I'm getting multiple different flavors now. over the map all over the map on flavors now I'm getting more peppers more spiciness more that that's that's a little more prominent and the the cherry pie is now a little bit more in the background it's it's coming through later it's evolving I bet you if I put this in a decanter and tasted it about three hours from now or even 30 minutes from now I'd be tasting a little bit different I'm going to say it's a little more complex wine than some of the other stuff. And, and I mean, remember, I like this one a Ooh. I like that one a lot. And it was the most expensive. I mean, $28 bottle of wine. This is $14. I like that one a lot. <clears throat> but it wasn't... I don't feel it was as complex as this one. I'm getting a lot more out of it on the, uh, on the palate. I think I gave that one a 92, didn't I? Ninety-two. Also, I'm going to give this a ninety-two. Uh, wine enthusiast gave it an eighty-seven. By the way, so um, ninety-two. I like this wine a whole heck of a lot. Yeah, and it's because of the because of those peppers I'm getting now. Those um. Just in general, peppers. Not, not necessarily jalapenos, but getting the, the pepper type of stuff. I like it a lot. A whole heck of a lot. And, and I'm still getting those tannins. Um, Alexander Valley Vineyards. Uh, great wine. Uh, another one of those vineyards that the Appalachian name is part of their name. Ap Alexander Valley. Um, uh, they're based out of Hellsburg, California. This is, uh, I think I said it on the front, Sonoma County. It's in Sonoma County, in Sonoma County, so it's a smaller Appalachian, a smaller AVA inside of a larger one. And uh, yes, I would say. Um, oh, they said black cherry a little bit farther down the profile. Yeah, black cherry, not bright cherry, darker cherry. Um, I would say, yeah, it's a steak wine. Um, I could drink it by itself, to be honest. Um, I know it's really heavy. It's a heavier wine. It's got a lot of tannins. But this is the one I actually could drink without food, but some cheeses and some uh, some nice cheeses and some uh, some steak with this wine go really well. All right, that's going to do it for this episode. This is the sixth wine I've done in one day. About to do no wait, wait one two three four five six yes about to do wine number seven and I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to eat. To be honest. Um, we're going to have some food. So we're going to get this done. I'm going to get the next wine done. We're going to get some food in me. We're going to take a little nap because I only had a couple hours of sleep this morning. And uh, that's going to be it. We'll see everybody again next time.